welcome back to another vlog guys i am starting off this vlog in the bathroom because honestly the construction is so bad and if i'm being truly honest like i'm kind of in a bad mood about it it's been ongoing since we moved in and i feel like the first two months were really bad like you can probably hear it in the background um and this almost is kind of like a soundproof room like if i have to take a call when there's construction i come into the bathroom so the fact that you can still hear it is is just goes to show you how loud it is but yeah it was bad for about two months and then it tapered off a little bit we would have like bad days but then now the past week it's like they're drilling right next to our apartment again and it's just feels like it's never ending i'm feeling a little discouraged about it because obviously like i work from home like if i'm not shooting you know what i mean and it's just kind of um yeah it kind of just like takes away from your productivity and your peace and all of that but anyway i'm getting ready for the day I actually have a fun event that's happening in like two hours it's gonna be new york fashion week starting tomorrow and so i'm going to a new york fashion week pilates event so we're gonna go to body rock do a little pilates event um and you're probably like why are you washing your hair before the workout i didn't wash my hair for four days so um, just knowing that they're probably gonna take pictures and stuff. I was like, I'm just gonna do my hair now and then um, I'll have it for a few days. I wanted to share this new sunscreen that I've been using with you guys because I think you'll really like it. Um, I saw this on someone's Instagram story and I have just kind of been like not loving the sunscreen that I was using. I was using the Goop um, tinted one and I just feel like I like something that's clean, no tint, um, because I'll usually just do like a little powder and I feel like that's just how I like to do my everyday makeup. Um, so I tried it and I absolutely love it. I haven't put it on yet, but I'll show you guys the consistency. I just ordered this off Amazon, um, but it comes with like a verification sticker so you can check online if it's actually the right product. I know there's been some skepticism around buying skincare on Amazon, but I'm sure you can also buy this directly. It is a Korean skincare product though, so you might have to go through like a different type of third-party skincare website, but it is just the best consistency and it does come out white, so it's not tinted, um, but it sinks into your skin so nicely. And I'm someone that puts on like quite a lot of sunscreen, honestly. So you can see it doesn't leave any sort of white cast or weird white film on your skin which i know we all hate so i'll link this if you guys are interested i really really love it i'm quickly gonna blow dry my hair and then i'm hoping that by the time i finish those guys will go on their lunch break and i can give you some apartment updates because we're adding some stuff to the place and i'm so excited about it I'm not gonna have time to show you guys the updates now, but I will definitely show them when I get back. Um, and it'll probably be better because these guys should be done around like four. But yeah, I'm about to go to the event. It's a Pilates workout actually, which I'm so excited about. It's in partnership with Body Rock and Model Insider, which is like a modeling platform. Yeah, it should be fun. I love these types of events more than the ones in the evening. I feel like sometimes there can be so many different parties and events to go to at night. It's nice to have something in the day and that's also health focused. So I'm gonna take you guys along and then we're gonna come back here and, and just do some work. I just got home from the event. I didn't vlog as much as I expected to because I actually got there late. I am having such a weird day. Like there's so many things just going wrong or like coming up unexpectedly. Anyway, I live diagonally across from where the Pilates class was today. And so in order for me to get there the fastest, I had to take two trains. So I get on the train, I'm like waiting to switch trains, 10 minutes go by, the train's not coming. And then all of a sudden they tell us like, the trains going across town are not running because of criminal activity. So I'm like, great, now I have to walk 20 minutes, which on any other day wouldn't have been a problem, but because I had a, like a clock on my ass, I was like, okay, now I'm gonna be 10 minutes late. So. I get there, I'm like flustered. Obviously I feel bad because it's her first event. Yeah, I don't know, it's just not my day. But something that is really important for me to remember 
on days like this and they don't happen very often but when they do i can get a little bit into the mindset of like okay i'm just writing it off i'm gonna start fresh tomorrow you know what i mean and something that i've realized over time is like i get to be the one to decide how i handle this or how i let this affect my life and my mood and I now try and be super aware of that and I change the channel as quick as I can. You know, I try and think about something positive that's coming out of the situation. Like, I, I can't think of anything positive for the train situation, but I try and just remind myself that I get to be the one to decide whether I let things get to me or not. And I get to decide what channel I choose to keep my frequency on, if you know what I mean. And so this is something that I tell my clients too sometimes is like, what do you need to do to get back to that positive happy frequency like is it listening to a podcast is it having like a little gratitude moment in the day is it um being mad for five minutes like i don't know what that looks like to you for me it's usually listening to like a motivational podcast that really always gets me in a good headspace or like a little gratitude journal moment i recently actually just bought this and i've been really intentional about writing in it every day I know people shove gratitude down people's throats, but I really do feel like it makes a big difference. Anyway, I think it's just important to be aware of these moments and figure out like what is it for you that's gonna pull you out of it and get your mind back on track. So um, speaking of podcasts, this is the one that I just finished listening to on my way home. It's Mel Robbins and she she's one of my favorites, but this is the episode that she did with um, Stephen Bartlett from Diary of a CEO. You guys know I love him too. So I'll link this one down below if you need a little um, motivation booster. I love her. Anyway, I need to hop on this call and then I probably will need to do a little bit of tax stuff, but then I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that we got for the apartment. I feel so much better now. I wasn't necessarily expecting anything bad to happen. I just feel like taxes are never really that fun to do or to deal with. Yeah, I have to say like the guy that I'm working with right now is really good at, at answering the questions that I have and he really takes the time to um, just explain things in a way that it's digestible for me, you know? And um, yeah, I just really appreciate it and just made me think about how little i knew when i first moved here i just walked into h and r block the first year and i was like help i need to do my taxes it also just made me think about this one girl in particular and she she was quite a bit older than me at the time but she was also canadian and we were working this one client together and she said to me she's like you need to change the way you're doing things i think i was like 21 or something She's like, you gotta start with holding your own taxes. You gotta get this account. You need this type of account. And she was really the one that, that like pushed me to look into these things. Um, and I'm so grateful for people like her. And I have to say like, she came into my life at the right time because if it had happened any earlier, I probably would have just been like, you know, I'm just happy paying my like $200 for H&R Block to do it. But you know, over time she really got me to look into it more and to take those steps to um, like take more control over that stuff by myself because um, it really does make a difference. And I think if I had to say anything to someone who is like coming to New York from another country or even just another model living here is like get a good accountant who understands your industry. I think that that's a major, major key because um, there are just so many things that people don't talk about when it comes to everything like how to write things off what can you write off um, do you need to open a business like what type of business would you need to open for it to be more tax friendly for you more beneficial like all these things that I just didn't know when I first moved here obviously um, and now I'm like I can't imagine my life without it because one I could never do this stuff by myself um, but two I also just like saving little bits here and there because of the way that things are set up now and obviously the other thing too is like talk to other girls about it like talk to girls about it at work and ask them what they do um talk to your friends about it and ask them what what um processes they use or what people they use 
I just actually referred someone to my accountant and she's really liking it. She's really happy. And I think it's like, this is the one universal thing that's stressful for everyone. And it's like, if one person wins, then we all win, you know? Anyway, I've been teasing these apartment updates all day. So I'm gonna show you guys quickly what we're doing. Um, I think I told you guys before that we have this white wall, it's actually right here, um, that we haven't really done a lot with. And obviously we did quite a bit in the beginning in terms of buying furniture. We set up this whole area. We ended up getting that lamp, bar cart dresser, like all these things. And then we both kind of just were like fatigued from furniture shopping. So we took a break. And then um, recently we've just been talking about the fact that we need we need to just make it feel a little bit more cozy than what it is right now. And I have to give credit to Avery for um, really like pushing this along because I'm the kind of person that will just like be happy with this or at least we'll just deal with it, you know? Um, but we decided on two things. The first is we're getting a new rug. It's funny because it's it's gonna be pretty different from what we have right now, but I think, I think it could be really cute if it looks the way that it looks online. I'll just say it like that. And if it doesn't work out, then we can always return it. It's not, um, it's not the end of the world. The rug that we have right now, you guys will probably remember, but it's the one from um, my old place. And it's fine. It serves its purpose. But it just doesn't really do anything for the space. It doesn't bring anything into the apartment. And honestly, there's also like a massive stain where I <laughs> spilled coffee um, back in my last apartment. I don't know, it just feels a little dirty and it feels like it's it's done its time. So we started looking for rugs, not even really knowing what we wanted. And then after a few days, we found this print. We actually found a couple that we liked from the same brand. Um, it's a Jonathan Adler print, but it's from Ruggable. This is the rug that we ordered. <laughs> I know it's very different from what we have right now, but I am very excited about it. I think it will add something interesting to the space. There's actually another colorway that we liked a little bit better. It's a brown and like a burnt orange color and we figured that it would go really nice with the floor and it would be a good contrast for the couch. But then when we saw the photos and the reviews, it looked like it was really washed out. So we just decided to go for the green because those photos look really nice. And I feel like it will go with the couch. It will go really well with like all the furniture that we have. And then the other thing that we ordered is a bookshelf, which is gonna go right here. Um, against this wall because this wall kind of extends quite a bit further out from where the little bench stops right here this is the one that we ordered i feel like it's gonna be so nice originally we were like do we get some art on this wall but then we couldn't find anything that we both loved and then also just realized that having extra storage would be amazing because right now like all of my books are in where's the kitchen oh it's <laughs> are in like one of the cupboards over there above the fridge. Bookshelves can also be really cute with like little plants and just things that make it feel a little bit more personal and homey. It would kind of clean up this windowsill area that we have, which is just full of little, like little shits that you don't know where to put, you know? So I feel like the bookshelf will be a great way to kind of organize things and just allow for extra storage. And it'll also kind of fill up that empty white wall feel. And then at the end, once we decide on the rug, um, I'm gonna get some decorative pillows to just have like on the benches here to kind of tie in with the colors of the rug And then I think we'll be done. I'm gonna ask Avery if he wants to build the bookshelf tomorrow Just made the laziest dinner ever, but I'm super excited about it. I made those little feta burgers They look kind of weird right now because I cut them in half when I was baking them I'm gonna eat this while I edit my vlog and then I will see you guys in the morning Today has been such a chill start to the day on Fridays. I tend to have more of my coaching calls than on other days just because Fridays tend to be the day that I am like least likely to be on photo shoots They tend to happen more like in the middle of the week or the beginning of the week So I was supposed to have three calls and two people had to reschedule. So I only have one um, I'm about to hop onto it actually So that's nice. I had the morning to just kind of read my book and do my journal and um, I was also browsing for dresses for the weddings that we're going to this summer which is always fun. So yeah, I'm gonna hop on this call and then after we're gonna run a couple of errands, I have to return a dress that I ordered that I don't love, which kind of sucks, but um, then, and then I might be picking up a drill <laughs> from one of Avery's friends. They don't live too far from here, so 
Um, I'm gonna see if they're around, but we used a drill to put up this wall sconce and it was so easy. Um, and I realized we would probably need it for the bookshelf too. So I'm gonna ask if they'll let us borrow it again. And yeah, then after that, I'm meeting up with Mel. We're gonna try out a new cocktail bar slash restaurant in the West Village. So I'm really excited for that. You guys are not gonna believe this, but while I was out for drinks last night, Avery actually came home early and built the bookshelf. There's still a couple books and little things missing that are being delivered today. A lot of the books that I've read over the years, I have read online or on Kindle I've rented. So I've actually gone ahead and ordered some of those. So in the next vlog, it'll be a little bit more complete. I can't remember everything that I ordered, but I got a new pen holder, one that's actually a little bit more aesthetic than just a glass. <laughs> and then I also ordered a pack of four or five succulents. So I'm just gonna place those on the shelves. And then the other thing that I also wanna get is I wanna get one of those bowls at the front door where you can just throw your keys or throw like little things into. Um, the speaker is not gonna stay on this, but it's just there for right now. But yeah, I'm sure over the next week or so, this will be a little bit more put together. Anyway, I really wanted to show you guys that before I end off this vlog. We're about to start cooking in preparation of our Super Bowl dinner tomorrow. We're doing like a little family dinner with um, some of Avery's colleagues and our friends. It's gonna be great. So we have a lot of prep work to do for that today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, all the good things. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.